Hey kids, guess who's looking good and he's ready to take on the world? Johnny Bravo! <laughs> Ever wondered how hard it would be to entertain ourselves without TV or internet? Must be pretty tough, considering how much we use them on a daily. Well how about watching criminals get eaten and watch their blood paint the walls of the arena? <laughs> yeah, that's not funny. <laughs> hey, but the Romans did it! Entertainment has been around since the day we nutsacks first landed on Earth. It started out in the form of music, dancing, and gladiator fights. And watching lions have criminals for breakfast. Here boy, here boy, you like the kiwi? You like the kiwi? He doesn't like the kiwi. <laughs> Even when the Great Depression hit America in the 1930s, everybody wanted to forget about how much nipples their life sucked. So, they used entertainment. They listened to radio, played sports, ooh, and they had dance marathons where couples would dance for days after days non-stop until one couple was left standing. And they had kissing marathons too. Freak! A kissing contest? <laughs> Sign me up! I'd even start practicing from now. Now in case you didn't know, entertainment- Stop! Stop! Please make the rewind and make the explain what the hell does that mean the entertainment. Lebanon doesn't teach. Thank you, you. Okay. Well according to Google, entertainment has anything to do with enjoyment, leisure, relaxation, fun, and pleasure. And I love this example they use. <laughs> So you guys, even reading is entertainment. So can you guys stop bothering little Jimmy for having a freakishly abnormal amusement in books? Yeah, thank you. Nowadays, our biggest entertainers are TV and internet. And some people <laughs> just wish that these two would just die. Die and become extinct. How many times have you heard people say things like, Get sir! I say, I think that the internet is rather the devil. Oh my god, I think that TV is like totally ruining our lives. I can't understand this Netflix and chill rubbish. Well if you don't like it, then hit your head off the wall. Very well. Well hey. I'm here to tell you to screw those guys and show you what an important role TV and internet entertainment plays in our lives. Some people believe that the TV and the internet are the devil's tools. <laughs> Which is an absolute load of blogger because Netflix and YouTube offers parental control and everybody knows that the devil doesn't support child safety. But hey, we can see why some people want the TV and the internet vanished off this planet. Now a TV hater would tell you the following. It increases obesity. It lowers self-esteem. It sucks the hell out of your bank account. And it feeds you false information. True! But this only applies to people that watch hours after hours of TV entertainment and don't use their brain. An internet hater will tell you one word. Porn. And you know what? Hey. Also true, why pay a stripper for one more song when you can have one digitally stripped through 50 cents, 31 albums starting from Get Rich or Die Trying to Street Immortal. For free. And if you don't want to take the internet away from the kids but at the same time you don't want that filth to keep popping up, well you better become a good spy because you're going to be watching them 24-7. Heck, I didn't even get my internet pass until I was 13. But let's be a little bit more positive. If we turn a TV into a stress reliever and we turn the internet into a source of education, well then things don't seem so damn bad. Picture this, you wake up 10 minutes before work, rush to work with no food while you make food with no food in your stomach. Oh, and you're not allowed to eat for free. You argue with an annoying Arabian customer, get a $90 order brought back to the shop because the customer found them. 
frog in their pizza, and you get fired. You come back home, and then you remember. There is hope. I still have TV to help me lower my stress and make me forget about my crappy day. You go to turn on the TV, and wait, wait, what's going on? The TV's not working. And then you remember something. <gasps> Your country banned TV and internet. No! Curse you, Donald Trump! And then you remember that you live in Canada. Curse you, Trudeau! One know what makes me happy? My feet. They work 24-7, 365 days of the year. No vacation, no pay. They get beaten. They have to smell my stinky socks all day. And they don't complain. But you know what makes me even happier? This picture of India and Pakistan getting together on the street to watch a game of cricket. How can they take away something so beautiful? <laughs> now hey, I'll be honest. The internet is potentially very, very dangerous. But so is for roll-ups. You wanna know how many times fruit roll-ups cut me? Yeah. I don't see the FDA banning it. It's all about the way you use the internet. If you wanna throw away leftover brain cells, it can help. If you want to learn something that your teacher couldn't teach you, the internet can grant you that knowledge. We have to remember that the internet has step-by-step -step videos and pictures to teach us anything in the most funnest and attention-grabbing way possible. So if your professor failed to teach you how female menstruation works, you want to ask your mom, but you don't want to get stuck? Well, YouTube can grant you menstrual knowledge too. Damn, that was a tongue twister. My name is Hayar, and if you didn't like this video, Blame this guy. He chose the topic. <laughs> no, 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 you You owe me one. No! And please, please, don't forget to make the share. Alalin need the money. He need new wife. Amna can't cook. She keep burning the oatmeal. Aladdin! Get over quick, here. quick, quick! Here's my bank account and here's my email. My email is aladin underscore bite my granite baby at hotmail.com. Now! Shut the hell up, yalla, I'm coming! Now I'm going to be able to get out of the way of the booming.